I'm going to teach you how to install Sodium for Minecraft 1.21.3. As you can see, I'm using Sodium right now and installing it for the newest version of Minecraft is not really hard at all. So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Now, the first step to install Sodium is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Sodium. If you don't want to read through the whole thing though, it's okay. I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Scroll down to step one and click where it says Sodium. But remember that guide is there if you prefer to look at the screenshots and read and stuff. It's always there. It's always an option. Anyways, once you click on that Sodium link, that is going to bring you over here where you have all the versions of Sodium that you could download. As you can see, you could download Sodium for Fabric and you could download it for NeoForge. In this video, we're going to download it for Fabric. However, if you're downloading this for NeoForge, it's essentially the same thing. Just instead of using Fabric, you will use NeoForge. Anyways, once you're over here, look for the 1.21.3 version. If you don't know how to find it, you could always just filter by game version and you will have the proper version in here. And now we're going to download that Fabric one. As you can see, it's the most recent one. It just got updated 32 minutes ago. So let's go ahead and hit that download arrow and the download will begin right away for the Sodium file. Now, while Sodium downloads, did you know that you could use Sodium online on a server without asking for permission because Sodium is a client-side mod? Well, that is an option for you. You could use Sodium online. And also, if you don't have a server, you could use the first link in the description to create a Minecraft server with Apex Hosting. And here it is. They'll let you create either a Java or a Bedrock server. I'm assuming most of you prefer Java anyways. And you could use over 200 mod packs on your server and you could install them with just a click of a button and they'll be installed in less than five minutes. Now, they also have locations all around the world so no matter where you are you have no excuse because you won't lag and your friends won't lag either these servers are hosted online so that means you don't have to port forward your ip address or keep your computer on all the time because the server could be accessed from anywhere and also something i personally love about apex hosting is that you could create the server and then access the server console through your phone meaning that you could be away from the house and stuff and still be able to kick people out of your server change the setting op people whatever you want to do you could do so through your phone because it is your server after all i'm gonna leave the first link in the description and for those of you that hurry up and take advantage of that link right now, you get 25% off your first server with Apex Housing. And now let's check back with Sodium and see if it already downloaded. And after a couple seconds, Sodium already downloaded. And at this point, if you already have Fabric installed, all you have to do is drag and drop that Sodium file into your mods folder. And that's it, you're done. You could go ahead and play Sodium now using Fabric. This video is over for you. Just leave a like and bye bye. But I'm assuming most of you don't have Fabric installed and that's why you're watching this video. You also wanna learn how to install the mod loader, right? The mod loader is going to let us use the mod, which in this case is Sodium. Now click on the third link in the description and I'll bring you over here to our guide on how to install fabric. If you don't want to read through the whole thing though, that's fine. All you have to do is to scroll down to step one and click download fabric here. That will redirect you to the fabric page where we're going to click download universal jar and the download will begin right away for the fabric installer. Now, it, it, this is pretty straightforward. Right now, all we have to do is install fabric and then add the sodium mod into the fabric folder, but I'm still going to guide you through the process. First thing you want to do is make sure your Minecraft game as well as your Minecraft launcher are completely closed. But first, you have to make sure you have played Minecraft 1.21 1.3 at least once in your computer to create an instance of the game for fabric to install to. Once you've done that, just go ahead and open the fabric installer. It's that simple. Double click on it and the fabric installer will open it. And if you couldn't open the fabric installer, don't worry, I'm going to teach you how to fix that in a second. But most of you will be able to open the fabric installer. And all we have to do now is hit install and fabric will begin installing. Now, if you weren't able to open the fabric installer, that's most likely due because you don't have Java 21. If you've watched my videos in the past and you installed fabric in the past, you might have Java 17, Java 18, or maybe some other their java but as of now after minecraft got updated to minecraft 1.20.5 you now need java 21 to install any type of mods and that of course includes sodium fabric and any other mod that you install so i'm going to leave a guide in the description on how to install java 21 it's super simple you just download java and then you hit next a couple of times and you will have java 21 installed on your computer which like i said it's a requirement now for you to install any type of mods like the fabric installer anyways once you install java you have no problems opening the fabric installer and then you'll be able to install it once it's done installing just hit ok and now you could even close the installer you don't need it anymore we could also delete it from our desktop that way we only keep the sodium mod that we're about to add to the game that is the next step actually let's go ahead and launch our minecraft launcher to add this mod into the game now as soon as you open the minecraft launcher if you install fabric properly you should see it selected here automatically as you can see here it says fabric loader 1.21.3 if that's not the case for you don't worry just head over to install and make sure that modded is selected as you can see without modded you actually won't see fabric in here if fabric is still doesn't appear just click on new installation name this whatever you want like for example apex housing since it'll give you 25 percent off if you use that first link in the description and i misspelled apex housing there we go and in the version though we're going to look for fabric so we're gonna go ahead and type fabric in there and we should see fabric appear on the top 
as 1.21.3. We're gonna select that and then we're gonna hit create right here on the bottom right and that will actually create the instance of fabric that we need to add the mod. Anyways, once you found fabric in here, either you created it or it was installed when you installed the whole thing earlier, we're gonna hover over it and we're gonna click on this little folder. That is going to open a folder that has a lot of files in it and a bunch of other folders. But don't worry, inside this folder, we're just looking for another folder called mods and that's spelled M-O-D-S. And as you can see, my mods folder is right here. But let's say you didn't have a mods folder. I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete mine. If you don't have a mods folder, don't worry. You could always just hit new, hit folder, and then name this folder mods, M-O-D-S. So yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself. Now go ahead and open that mods folder. And all you have to do now is drag and drop the sodium file into this folder. That's it. We now have sodium installed for micro 1.21.3. Now make sure that if you're going to add any other mod in here, they are compatible with fabric as well as with micro 1.21.3. And now it's time to test Sodium. So to do that, we could close this folder, head back into the Minecraft launcher, and now launch Minecraft using your fabric loader, which is the mod loader that now has Sodium installed, right? So just hit play. You might get this prompt in here. Click that you understand. If you don't know what you're understanding to, just click on here, read more about player safety features, but it's pretty much talking about modern Minecraft and stuff. And then hit play again, and let's go ahead and wait for the game to load. Now, once the game opens, let's go ahead and launch a single player world just so we could test out our newly installed mod. Now, you could also use Sodium, like I said earlier, on multiplayer servers, and if you don't have one, Use that first link in the description and create your own multiplayer server. Now, as you can see, we're here within Minecraft and there's a lot of things loading, but what we really care about is that Sodium mod. And to test that out, we're gonna press F3. And as we can see, we have Sodium render right here on the top right. Now, my FPS might not be the best right now as I am recording in 2K and I'm also using the camera and stuff. So everything together makes the game maybe not super fast, but most of you shouldn't worry about that issue. As you can see, we now have Sodium working in Minecraft 1.21.3. And that is pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope this video helped you. If it did, don't forget to subscribe. That's all I ask in return. And as always, bye-bye.